Our immune system keeps us healthy by attacking invaders like viruses. One problem, however, is our immune system can misfire and attack healthy tissue. That can lead to one of more than a hundred disorders like lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease, and multiple sclerosis. Many people don't even realize they have an autoimmune disease, assuming instead that their difficulty concentrating, abdominal pain, or fatigue are just a part of regular life. Other symptoms include feeling cold much of the time or having a rapid heartbeat. When doctors diagnosed Sierra Valinga with Hashimoto's thyroiditis, they told her the same thing millions of others with autoimmune issues hear. It was just always, oh, take this pill and and you'll, for the rest of your life, and that's, that's all we can do for you. You're un incurable and you have a disease. Sierra didn't believe the medication helped. I was having physical symptoms, like my hair was falling out. Um, I was very puffy-faced and joint pain. I had tons of sinus issues, which they just either said it was allergies or a sinus infection. So they'd put me on antibiotics and send me on my way. Then she heard about Dr. Amy Myers, one of a growing number of autoimmune specialists who believe drugs often make matters worse. Many of them have the side effects of decreased immune system and getting infections, even leading to lymphomas and cancers. Dr. Myers prescribes a clean diet to prevent and possibly reverse autoimmune disorders. That means that somebody's symptoms can go away, their joint pain can go away, their muscle aches and pains can go away, their, um, they can get off these very harsh medications. And I see that day in and day out. Sierra followed this route and after six months regained her health. So far it's, it's worked great. I've never felt better since I can remember. I didn't realize that I could get my brain back working where it's firing. My hair has, is the longest it's ever been. I can't even get a manicure because my, my nails grow so quickly that my fingernail polish is grown out in about a week. Dr. Myers believes autoimmune diseases stem from a condition called leaky gut. Nearly 80% of our immune system is in our gut. And if we have an autoimmune disease, it's a problem with our immune system. A leaky gut means large openings form along the intestinal walls, allowing big particles to escape that shouldn't. The immune system recognizes the particles as foreign and attacks them, as well as healthy tissue they resemble. Myers says a leaky gut comes from eating too much processed food, sugar, dairy, and gluten, which is in wheat. So gluten, everybody's thinking, oh, this is just a fad, this is such hype. How in the world can gluten be bad? It's the bread of life, we've been eating it forever. Well, the bread that we're eating now is not the bread that we've been eating forever. That's because scientists have hybridized wheat over the years. Today's crop produces a higher yield, but contains more gluten. Our once wholesome cheese isn't the same either. We have overprocessed our dairy. We're using different cows than our great-great-grandparents did. We're using a lot of gro growth hormone, antibiotics. Too much sugar causes inflammation. I mean, everything really boils down to inflammation. I mean, even these days with the cardiologist, a heart attack they now know is an inflammatory process. Dementia and Alzheimer's, inflammatory process. And of course, we have autoimmune diseases, which are an inflammatory process. What's really creating that inflammation? A lot of research is going towards carbs these days and simple sugars. Dr. Myers recommends avoiding gluten, dairy, sugar, and processed foods to heal the gut and reverse autoimmune disease. Correcting the problem usually involves cooking at home from scratch. In an ideal world, we would all be eating, I believe, like our ancestors. So eating uh, pasture-raised meats, grass-fed meats, fish, vegetables, fruit, more of a paleo diet. I have been making lots of wraps, using lettuce as, as a wrap. Dr. Myers provides many healthy recipes in her book, such as coconut cream berry parfait, Brussels sprouts with dark cherries, and crispy coconut shrimp. I don't want gluten, I don't 
crave milkshakes like I used to. So one way to guard against or treat any number of autoimmune diseases is to consider an anti-inflammatory diet like the paleo plan, rich in vegetables and healthy fats, minus the processed foods, sugar, dairy and wheat. It could be well worth the effort. Lori Johnson, CBN News.